Novak Djokovic. <laughs> Jesus. So as the <coughs> Kuf Kuf pandemic continues and we rapidly descend into what can only be described as clown world reality, you can only sit back in awe and disbelief as the crazy stories unfold before your very eyes. In particular, this crazy involves the number one tennis player Novak Djokovic or his assumed nickname Novak Djokovic. <laughs> retarded. He's a sports person actually in trouble for not taking drugs. F***ing LOL. But we'll get into this right after this quick sponsor. I'll see you in a minute. My fellow listeners with an IRA or 401k, that means superannuation in Australia. But let's face it, most of you listening are American. This is an urgent warning. Your government wants you to believe the federal debt is only $29 trillion. By the way, this is what a trillion dollars looks like. They want you to believe they've got it all under control. But it's a big lie, because the federal debt isn't just $29 trillion, it's upwards of $100 trillion. So inflation and tax hikes are their only way out. So if you've got 50 grand or more in your retirement savings, your money could be at risk. Risk, but you can protect your savings with physical gold and silver. If you're in America, just call 844-580-0569 or go to bearlocksgold.com. Give my friends at Gold Co. a call to see how you can get paid to protect your retirement. And if you can open a qualifying account, they'll give you up to 10 grand in free silver. So what are you waiting for? Call Gold Co. at 844-580-0569 or visit bearlocksgold.com. I want to thank Gold Co. for sponsoring this video. Now back to the show. Now I'm going to take a very on the fence tone to this and present the facts. Lest someone accuse me of creating dissent and try to revoke my Australian citizenship for glamorizing the anti <coughs> coof coof vaxxing. Just joking. But like I said, clown world or rather clown country that is Australia right now. Now, whatever side of the fence you sit on, it's clear that the whole Novak deportation saga has people on both sides super pissed about it. Some believe that he shouldn't get special treatment, that he's a liar and promotes the wrong image in Australia where the government wants everyone to be vaxxed. Others think this is all over the top, and we've treated the number one men's tennis player appallingly. And it's a shameful example of the freedoms we've lost and the stifling of the Australian spirit. If you're not aware of the story, let's take a look at what's unfolded. Djokovic has acknowledged that his travel declaration was incorrect because it failed to indicate that he'd been in multiple countries over the last two weeks before his arrival in Australia. In a post on social media Wednesday that constituted his most extensive public comments yet, Djokovic blamed his agent for checking the wrong box on the form, calling it a human error and certainly not deliberate. In the same post, Djokovic said he went ahead with an interview and a photo shoot with a French newspaper in Serbia, despite knowing that he he had tested positive for <laughs> two days earlier. Djokovic has been attempting to use what he says was a positive test taken on December 16 to justify a medical exemption that would allow him to skirt the vaccine requirement on the grounds that he already had the <laughs> Please don't ban me YouTube. Hawk, who I suppose is an Australian official of some sort, said that he cancelled the visa on health and good order grounds, on the basis that it was in the public interest to do so. His statement added that the Prime Minister Scott Morrison's government is firmly committed to protecting Australia's borders, particularly in relation to the... <coughs> <laughs> pandemic. The main idea of the appeal of Hawke's decision, according to the athlete's lawyer, was that it was not based on the health risk that Djokovic might pose by not being vaccinated, but on how he might be perceived by anti- <coughs> preventatives. Morrison himself, that's the Australian Prime Minister, welcomed Djokovic's pending deportation. The episode has touched a nerve in Australia, and particularly in Victoria State, where locals went through hundreds of days of lockdowns during the worst of the pandemic and there's a vaccination rate among adults of more than 90 percent. Okay, so that's the main gist of the story. Some people are pissed, believing that he lied, and bend his way around the rules to avoid quarantine, and play in the tournament as an unvaxxed player. What I really wanted to share with you is this funny as f video leak of two Aussie news reporters sharing their not so professional but genuinely honest opinions in a hilariously true crude Aussie manner. 
whatever way you look at it, Ernak Djokovic is a lying, sneaky yes. asshole. He's an asshole. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> like, whatever way you look at it, it's yeah. unfortunate that, that everybody else stuffed up around him. That, that's it. And he's an asshole. Like, to go out when you know you're COVID positive. Well, yeah. I don't think he was even COVID positive. I, I, I don't think that form is true. You've got a bullshit f- excuse and then fell over his own f- lies, which is what happens, right? Yeah. That's what's happened. And then him now then ticking, he didn't go to Spain. Yeah. It's just like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but I think I think he's going to get away with it. Oh, well, he is going to get away with it. Yeah. It's just... But he's... I think most fair-minded people would say that the bloke's an, an asshole. Did we? Did they? Did they do the right thing by him? I don't know. No, I don't. I, I don't. F- it up. I don't think so. That's I, the problem, isn't it? I don't think. I don't think anything was gained by putting him in. No. In the immigration. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But the trouble is, how do you justify that person's on the same plane with him who also? Has he can't justify it, but the fact is, life is never fair. Yeah. Some people fly first class, and some yeah. people, do you know what? I, like, yeah. it's never fair. But that poor Czech girl that was yeah, sent yeah. home, hunted down and sent yeah. home. <laughs> That's f-ing hilarious. <laughs> Why you would say this in a studio decked out with cameras and mics everywhere is beyond me. It's just hilarious to hear what they really think instead of the formal robot news they present live on camera. If all news was honest like this, I would watch it a lot more. It's f***ing brilliant. (laughs) I don't think Djokovic should have been deported. I think it's f***ing bullshit. I've got some mates that are sort of (coughs) anti-preventative and power to him. One of them's actually had to go get the (coughs) preventative just to keep his job and pay the bills. Now having said that, I've had the (coughs) preventative. I've got no problem with it. But I think you're entitled to your opinion and entitled to your views. And you're entitled to choose what's right for you and your family. Having said that, I disagree with nothing that the CDC or the authorities say because I don't want YouTube to ban me. But anyway, as you can see, this whole Novak Djokovic saga has pissed people off more ways than one on multiple sides. It's suggested that this will affect his sponsorship deals and that he may be unable to play both Wimbledon and the French Open. It's all a massive shit show, basically. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.